Hey guys, this is Nia and today I will be painting these spotted eagle rays. I don't know why but I've been wanting to do some type of sea creature with spots like a whale or a manta ray and when I was looking through Pinterest I came across a picture of the spotted eagle ray and I thought that it would be fun to paint. I'd like to do something different once in a while or else I'll get bored of the same subject matter even though I still love painting food and flowers. So today I'm going to talk you through my process of painting this in case any of you would like to try to paint it also. This is not far in terms of the level of tutorials that I usually do. It's something that can be done for all levels and it's very fun and easy. So as you can tell the first thing I did is the masking. So it's much easier to apply the paint later because you don't have to think about negative space. I'm using an old brush as usual this did get a bit tedious because my masking fluid dries really fast which isn't a bad thing depending on what you need it for and in some areas where I accidentally made bigger dots I just waited for them to dry and then peel it off and then reapply the masking fluid again in that particular area. It's much easier to have flat dried masking fluid or else when you're painting it later it makes it a bit difficult for the brush to travel across the bumpy surface. So the colors that I used for the Big Eagle Ray are Prussian Blue, Ultramarine Blue, Cobalt Blue, and Manganese Blue. I'm just going to keep with the same hue here and I'm going to apply those paints as gradations. So where I feel like the part of the body would be a bit darker, I apply the Prussian Blue because that's the darkest out of the selection of color. Then down to the Ultramarine Blue, Cobalt Blue, and then the Manganese as highlight. When I'm applying the paint, I make sure that they're fairly wet so the color that I'm applying beside it will mingle with each other. This is basically how you would apply paint for galaxy paintings. I'm also going to do several layers on this until I get the right vibrancy that I want. So while I wait for the first layer to dry on this one, I'm going to move on to the smaller one. I want the smaller one to still be blue but I want to make a slight change. So where the larger eagle ray is, a deep rich blue. I want the smaller one to have a bit of an aqua or even a slight green hue where the highlights are. So for this I'm going to mix aurelin yellow with the manganese blue to get the aqua color and for the darker areas I'm just going to use the same colors as the larger rays. When the whole surface is completely dry I basically just go over it again and build up layer by layer. It is important to wait for the previous layer to dry before building up the colors because if you keep adding water to your paper there will come a time when the paper won't absorb anymore and it's best to wait for it to be bone dry again to add the darker colors and you will see a huge difference in the vibrancy of colors when you add the additional layers. I'm also increasing the paint amount to be thicker and thicker as we build on the layers. In the beginning I just like to create the base and also the lighter colors and adding the darker colors later on as we build the layers up so the painting doesn't become muddy. When you add the darker tones in a thick consistency straight away, it might bleed onto the light areas and you won't get such clear colors anymore. So just paint slowly and you will get the result that you want. At this point, I'm just going to go back and forth in the eagle rays and that's basically 80 to 90% of the painting. So I'll get back to you again when I'm fairly happy with the colors.
after you've put down the main colors of the eagle ray i like to switch to a smaller brush so i'm not unloading too much water and this way i have more control in placing the darker colors especially around the head or any of the corners this is just my personal preference though you can do the same but if you have really good brush control and water control using the larger one that's also okay i just find it much more comfortable to use the smaller brush at this stage at any point of this painting if you accidentally made a mistake and paint the body a bit too dark in certain parts, you can use a bit of white gouache and mix it with the lighter colors used on your eagle ray and even the surface out with the rest of the colors. White gouache will help bring out the lighter colors against the dark colors because of its opaque nature, so it really helps out in paintings like this one. I like painting the tails last because they're really fine and I don't want to risk smudging them. So once I'm happy with the color of the eagle rays, I'm just going to use the darkest color that I used for each one. And I'm using my smaller brush so I can get really fine lines and it's easier to control. I think I was pretty much done with the eagle rays, at least for the main colors. I felt like it was a bit too empty though, so like usual, whenever I find something looking a bit too empty, I'm just going to add some splatters of paint and I'm going to splatter the darker colors on the darker eagle ray or the larger one and the aqua color on the smaller one. At this point, I'm not too worried if I get some splatters on the body of the eagle ray because while they're still wet, you can just blend the colors with the rest of the body and if you splatter too much, it's better to wipe a bit off with some tissue and then spreading it to smooth it out. I still wasn't fully happy with this yet, but I ended up rubbing off the masking fluid because I've been waiting to do that. I love seeing the reveal after looking at an ugly yellow color for such a long time. I just find it satisfying when you see the white spots. After I've taken off the masking fluid, I'm going to go back with my small brush to clear out some edges, especially around the outer part of each of the eagle rays and if there are any large white spots that you want to make a touch smaller you can paint the sides to reduce the size using whatever color is surrounding that white spot. At the end, I just went for it and just 
tried to paint some abstract shapes using the colors of the ray and I'm using a fairly thin consistency for this because I wasn't too sure at first but after I was comfortable with the look I added a touch more color to it and I think that it somehow looked like a group of bubbles which I think looks pretty cool and I also added some more splatters but when I did that I had to be careful this time to not get it on the body because of the white spots so if you're painting these yourself, I would advise you to do the splatters until you're happy with it before taking off the masking fluid so you can splatter more freely. So that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This technique can be applied for galaxy paintings or any galaxy animal paintings. But instead of the masking fluid, you can splatter some white gouache for the stars. So you can interpret this however you would like. Anyway, thank you for watching till the end and I will see you at the next video. Bye!